let's give it a go. It's a relatively, um, there are two exercises, two different exercises we're going to do. Um, the first one, we're going to try and familiarize ourselves with this feeling of love. So love is an active, it's a verb, it's, well, I don't really want to get into the philosophy of love, but just suffice this to say that whatever you think love is, one aspect of it is, is it's a doing. It's something we do. We love others. We love ourselves. Um, we're not seeking for other people to necessarily love us in this exercise. That's great if they do. It's nice. But in this, we're seeking to develop that capacity and quality of love for, us, uh, for ourselves and for others. So it's a verb. So it's a doing. It's something we do for others and for ourselves. But before we can do that, we need to get in touch with what it is. So this first exercise, I'm going to ask you to envision various people from your life with whom you feel very comfortable and who you know at moments in your life, they have loved you. So there may be a conversation in your head that, you know, these things passed away or they annoyed you or you fell out or something happened or they didn't stay in touch or it wasn't as perfect as you might be. We're not looking for perfect. We're just looking for moments when people have loved you. So great friends, maybe your parents, maybe a family friend, somebody that you saw when you were young and was always thrilled to see you. Teachers, mentors, coaches, therapists, have a religious figure in your life like a priest a rabbi imam anybody who you have felt has demonstrated that quality of love has seen you listened to you believed in you from any point in your life and what we do is we try and bring them into our mind and see them in front of us and allow ourselves to feel to open up and to feel that love that they have had for us. It can be challenging. It can be all sorts of voices of unworthiness. And if that happens, I just invite you to notice it. But to see if you can open yourself up as much as possible to accepting this love that people throughout your life have shown towards you. So I invite you to sit up straight. Um, do want you to be comfortable. Comfortable is very important in this. We want to be kind to ourselves. So sitting up straight, take a nice deep breath in. And let it all the way out. And once again, nice deep breath in and hold it at the top for a moment. And then let it out as slowly as you can, just getting in touch with your body, noticing any tension you're holding, seeing as you breathe out if you can just ease any tension from your shoulders, from your belly, from your hips, from your back. And then allow your breathing to return to normal. And I just invite you to picture yourself in a place where you feel extremely safe and comfortable. It might be in your living room, it might be on your deck, it could be in your garden, at the beach, in a forest. An ideal location for you where you feel safe and comfortable. And then I'd like you to bring to mind people from your life who it's just been great to be around. They saw you, believed in you, heard you. If you go back to early in your life, maybe you had a best friend. And regardless of what happened to that friendship, 
just seeing them as they were then, as your friend, as somebody that cared about you, was interested in you, liked hanging out with you, and just see them with you. Maybe your parents, or a family friend, a relative, anybody who really cared for you. Sometimes parents can be a little tricky. But if you really felt that from your parents, just bringing them along as well. At their best. And noticing that probably, mostly their intention was to show love for you. Maybe you had a great teacher at school mentor at work. Best friends in college. Or even people who you've hardly known, but you know, they had that quality of really enjoying your company and you enjoyed theirs. Maybe people you met abroad on a trip. Just see all of these people in front of you, in your safe space. And as you look them in the eye, just notice this feeling of kindness, generosity, and even love that they have for you. you're having a hard time accepting this some people find it helpful just to put their hand over their heart as a way of softening some of that resistance and just breathe in this care that these people have had for you And if there's any character from history, maybe a religious figure, maybe a historical figure, or even somebody you've read about, somebody that inspires you with their ability to show generosity, kindness, and love towards all people. Which if you're a Christian, might be Jesus. or Nelson Mandela, or Mother Teresa. Or anybody else that's really inspired you historically with their kindness for all people. And invite them to join your circle. just allowing yourself to look these people in the eye, see their smiles, try and quieten any voices of doubt or regret or unworthiness, and see if you can just open yourself up to feeling what these people have wished for you. And sending you this loving energy like rays of sunshine and just allowing it to bathe you and fill you up.
See if you can just recognize that there have been people in your lives who have cared for you, loved you, however imperfectly, in their own way. And to see if you can hold that for yourself. They loved you as you were. And I think sometimes it, we assume they, they loved us because they didn't really know who we were. But the brutal truth is, is that they did. We're not that good at hiding who we really are. And they knew who we were with all our faults with our vanity, with our selfishness. They knew all of those little foibles that we tried to hide. And they loved us anyway, just as we were. So allow yourself to feel this. then just looking around at this group and thanking them for joining you, thanking them for their kindness, and recognizing that this kindness is always available to you. It's always present. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. And when you're ready, open your eyes and connect yourself back into the room. <laughs>